People come and go like waves. Sometimes they stay longer like big waves. Tonight I stare at the moon for a little bit longer than most nights. As long as I try, I'll never reprehend. Welcome back to part two of this tutorial. I'm sorry for the long wait, and let's get started. To continue, at nine white units. Then add the rest in black. Next, add one inverted white unit on each side, like this. Add the rest of the white unit normal and the rest in black. Next, add in 8 white unit and the rest in black. Next, add in another 8 white unit and the rest in black. Add 7 units and add the rest in black. Now we're going to add one inverted white unit on each side. Watch where I add them. Then add the rest of the white unit in the middle and all the black unit normally. Next add seven white units and the rest in black. Add eight white units and the rest in black. Then add nine white units and add the rest in black. Add in one white unit like this. Then add two white units that goes only for one spike at the bottom. We're going to increase the row number. Do this to the other side too. Then add five normal black unit on each side. And the two last spikes, you will add one black unit each. Okay, on to the next row. Add 13 white units. And the rest in black. Next, we're going to add 14 white units and add the rest in black. Next, add one inverted white unit on each side like this. Then add normal white unit in the middle and the rest in black. white normal unit and add the rest in black. Going to increase to 9 white units and add the rest in black. Okay, now we're adding 10 white units.
Now we're going to add two black unit on each side. And follow after that, you're going to add two more white unit on each side. And then add in the rest in black. Now we're going to add 11 white units in the middle. Then two black units on each side. And two white units on each side. And then add the rest in black. Now we're going to increase the white unit to 12. Now add two black units and then two white units and then repeat to the other side. And then the rest you're gonna add it in black. Add 13 white units in the middle. And now the side pattern will be different. So now you're going to add in one black unit on each side. Then follow that, you're going to add three white units side by side like this. And repeat the same thing on the other side. And then just add in the rest and black units. Okay, add 12 white units in the middle. Okay, we're going to add one inverted black unit on each side. And then one normal black unit on each side then add two white units on each side and the rest will be in black units add 13 white units in the middle One black unit each side. Then two white unit each side and the rest in black. Add 12 white unit in the middle. One black unit on each side, then three white units on each side, 
and then add the rest in black unit. Add 11 white unit in the middle. One black unit each side. One white unit each side. Then we're going to repeat one black unit on each side. And then one white unit on each side. And then the rest will be in black. And now we're going to add 12 white units. Don't know why, but the camera kind of out of focus. But anyway, let's get back. So after you add the 12 white unit in the middle, we're going to add one black unit on each side. And then follow that, we'll have two white units side by side on each side. And then the rest you just add it in black units. We're getting there. So add 11 white unit in the middle. So now you're going to add one inverted black unit on each side and one normal black unit on each side and then one white unit on each side. So inverted black unit, a black unit and a white unit and then the rest you will connect it in black unit. Okay next row. Now we're going to add 11 white unit and you see where I connect the white unit is between the black and the white spike on the bottom and then add the rest in black. Next, we're going to add one inverted black unit on each side. Just watch how I connect them. Then the rest, in, rest will be in white in the middle and black unit and the rest. Okay, now we're going to add in white units. As you can see, we have the divide kind of ish between the black and white. So you just add in normally with the black unit. Next, we're going to decrease the unit by adding three white units connected to the three spikes from underneath. So each side. So you see how I connect the three. And then you're going to add two normal white units in the middle. And then do the same connect three spikes with the three white units. For black unit, you're gonna add in four black unit connected to the three spike on the bottom. So instead of three like the white, you're gonna add in four. So you see, I add in another one. And then the rest of the four spike, you're gonna add only one unit. So just try to squeeze in. We're going to add one inverted black unit each side between the white and the black spike and add the rest in white and black unit normally. Then we're going to add in night white unit and the rest will be in black. So 
So add one inverted block unit each side and then add in white unit and black unit normally. Okay, now you're gonna add in nine white units and the rest will be in black unit. Okay, now we're going to decrease the unit. So add in six white unit onto three spike underneath, like this. Same thing with the black unit, you're going to add in six black unit and each will put onto three spike underneath. So as, at the end up here, it's harder to put it in because the unit is big. So therefore, I do recommend that you cut the unit in half and fold it so it's easier to um, connect it as we come to the end. Alright, so for the next row, we're going to add in one white unit each side that connects the three spikes underneath. And then the three white unit in the middle will connect normally. So you can see my unit is smaller because I cut it in half. So it's easier to like close the mouth of the whale. And then also do the same thing for the black unit. So you're gonna add one black unit on each side that connect to the three spike underneath. And the rest of the three black unit will add in normally. Alright, so on to the last row. So we will add in four white units. Just connect them like this, just so as um, easier to close the mouth. And then for the black unit, you add the same thing. And then we are done with the whale body. Alright, next, this is my favorite part is to assemble everything together. You can use glue gun or any strong super glue to help hold all the parts together. Alright, and now you have it, your own 3D origami well. Thank you for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up for the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye! Thank you.